Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with a very interesting problem and uh, this is a perfect candidate for JE advanced type of uh, exam which, and this problem can be solved within two minutes. So here we are going to calculate effective resistance of uh, icosahedron. So I'll read the statement of this uh, problem. In the diagram shown below, there are a total of 30 resistors with each resistance value of R0. This regular and symmetrical geometry is known as icosahedron. The thick lines are out of the plane and thin lines are into the plane. What is the effective resistance of this circuit across A and B? So this point is A and this point is B. Uh, the reason for doing this problem uh, was because on the basis of this particular problem, I am going to uh, uh, give you two more such uh, structures and we are going to calculate R effective for it. So uh, let's start. So here the two other structures which I am going to take in the upcoming videos uh, are uh, one is rhombic uh, tricontrahedron. Uh, this one is the diagram for uh, rhombic uh, tricontrahedron and another one is uh, triacus icosahedron this is the structure for it and you can refer uh, wikipedia for the pages uh, or the diagram uh, this is the 3d diagram of it you can if you want to know more about these structures you can look for uh, google or wikipedia so in the future videos i'll be taking these two structures uh, i gave this uh, first one to some of my students and uh, two three people have given the correct answer already for it it's a very interesting completely based out uh, based on the symmetry and easily you can uh, solve so here is the solution part of uh, icosahedron problem so we'll be using uh, symmetry in this case so as you can see when current enters from this end and we are collecting current from uh, end b so you'll see there are these five resistances which are symmetrically connected to point a all right and these uh, five points are also connected with each other here so you can uh, definitely say that uh, these five points which are i have uh, marked with the uh, cyan color they are going to be at same potential similarly from other side if you see uh, the next five resistances here they are symmetrically placed and they are going to be at same potential so once you establish uh, this relation here then you can say all the resistances between these cyan color nodes between cyan color nodes uh, will not have any current you can see here these five resistances will not have any current similarly here these five resistances also will not have any current flowing through them so it's better if i can uh, remove these uh, resistors so i am going to remove this and uh, further uh, this uh, circuit will be reduced significantly and a very simple circuit is going to come so here it is so once i remove these uh, circuits i am going to find these uh, cyan color points at one side and yellow color points at one side and there are a total of 10 resistances connected connecting them at point a five resistances are connecting to this node uh, cyan color node and similarly five resistances are connected to this uh, uh, yellow color node and b so when i try to redraw this uh, circuit again I'll draw the point A. I'll be drawing this point A and point B. Battery is going to be connected across these two. And I'll draw somewhere in the middle these uh, cyan and yellow color nodes. A and cyan color nodes will have five resistances connected with each other. So definitely you can say they all are in parallel. And if they are in parallel, effective resistance of those five resistances will become r naught by 5 similarly between b and yellow color uh, similar type of five resistances are uh, connected and all of them are in parallel so effective resistance for them is going to be r naught by 5 similarly i can say between cyan color and yellow color there are 10 resistances uh, 10 identical resistances are uh, connected so overall resistance is going to be r naught by 10 now these three resistances are in uh, series so r effective directly i can write r naught by 5 plus r naught by 10 plus r naught by 10 when you simplify that that is going to give you r naught by 
2. This is going to be the answer for my uh, problem for uh, icosahedron uh, resistor. I hope you have enjoyed this solution and please give it a try to uh, get the resistance of uh, these two structures. Uh, trust me, they are very easy. And uh, somewhere if you solve my method, I mean that, that was my thinking. If you are uh, using, you will be using the result of uh, uh, icosahedron somehow this result you will be using while solving it without that also maybe you can come up with some other uh, uh, solution also so that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed this I'll, very soon i'll come up with another video please give a like share it with other friends and teachers thank you thank you very much